Indians are racist. We did not say all Indians. So if you are Indian and you are racist, you know we are talking to you. That's why you get angry. But to show the hypocrisy of South Africa and to show that racism is indeed alive, former constitutional court judge Yakub, who is an Indian himself, says 90% of Indians are racist. They never said they are taking him to court. They never threatened to do all kinds of things against him. So, when it is said by an Indian, because of racism, it is allowed. It is acceptable. Julius Malema comes and repeats after an Indian. No, you can't say the things that must be said by Indians only. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you are safe wherever you are. If you are in Gauteng or in KZN and, and especially in the Phoenix area, I hope your family is safe and you are safe and your home has not been burned down. Right now the chaos has gotten worse. The lawlessness in South Africa has been exposed. Police are not doing enough to protect people and the private property. Instead, they are busy looting as well. So people have taken it to their hands to enforce the law and stop the violence. Ordinary citizens and the taxi industry are trying their best to protect shopping centers everywhere in the country. There are white people busy playing traffic cops on the road with firearms asking black people who are there and where are they going. This is problematic and it will not end well. There is this currently threatening issue of Indian people killing black people in the Phoenix area in KZN. Unfortunately, I cannot post those videos here. They are too sensitive for this platform. And if you want to see them, you can check them on Twitter under one of those trending topics. You will find them there. Uh, in my own experience with Indian people, I can say they hate black people and they treat those who are working for them very bad. Today, they just got this chance during this chaos to hide their hate behind the looting and kill black people, including the innocent people. How can you justify this behavior going around the black neighborhood and shooting black people in their homes? Those people who are not part of the looting spree, what did they do? Why are they being killed? When I was casually working for a, an Indian-owned firm in Deben in the Phoenix area foot, I observed a lot of hate that Indians have for black people. And to make things worse, the money they pay them is a total insult. And secondly, I do want to move on and talk about this young boy who went to a looting spree and all he took was clothes he definitely needed for himself. I can only imagine being this young boy. He did not chase for all other things that he could have taken and brought home and sell, but he just wanted to get himself what he needed, underwears and new pair of shoes and some clothes. This is so heartbreaking. <laughs> As much as there is no one political correct way of defining what is happening right now, I think we can all agree that people are looting for different reasons. Some are just having fun and enjoying the chaos, like the guy who was dancing and eating cake at the shop right while taking a video of himself. That one was just having fun, and there is just no way to describe, to justify his behavior. But some people, like this, this little boy, are taking this chance to get something they really need. And there are people out there who really need food, and they went there to loot food. So I, there's just a lot that is happening right now. And lastly, I do want to move on and talk about this video.
This two-year-old survived unharmed after her mother was put into a difficult situation when their home was burnt down. Her mother had to throw her in order to escape the burning building. The 26-year-old mother, Nalete Manyoni, said she was in the 16th floor of the building when the fire started. She ran down with her daughter until she got to the edge above the street and tossed her baby to the group of people that was around the street. She says after throwing her, she held her head in shock, but they caught her, fortunately. The mom recalled when she finally made her way out of the burning building to reunite with her baby, she kept saying, Mama, you threw me down. She was so scared. The mom also said it was important for her daughter to be safe and get out of that situation and not leaving her behind. Why are homes being burned down? Why are the people burning residential homes? This is so heartbreaking and we just need this to end because it's not doing good to anyone right now.